Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to discuss about the use of camera, creating ensemble project and movement of camera from one scene to another scene. We will know about how to focus camera on particular section of canvas, how to move to an empty space to start a new section. As always, we will follow the basic principle of video scribe. Set all the elements, set the camera position and adjust the draw time. In this example, we will have two text element and one image element from our image library. We have already discussed about how to add text and images in the earlier video of the video scribe tutorial. Now let's add a text www.youtube.com slash c slash teach tech official. And adjust the position of the text in the canvas. Now let me add an image of a person using a laptop. And now I will add another text learning keep it coming then set its position. If you want to select all object in your timeline then press Ctrl plus A. If you want to select a range of object then click the first object, hold shift and click the last object. If you want to have same camera position then select all object and click on the set camera position button. Adjust the draw time according to your priority. Let's preview it. Looks awesome, right? Now, if you want to more focus on the image but keep the text position still, then click on the image and zoom it. and click on the set camera icon. Let's preview it again. Now let's say if you want to add an arrow and focus on learning text. Go to image icon and source for an arrow. Adjust the position of the arrow by rotating. Set the camera position and adjust the draw time for the arrow. Now let's preview it. We knew already about the camera position. Now let's see how to move camera to a blank screen to start a new idea or a new section. For that, drag your screen away from the arrow so that it looks natural. Now add a new text as section B.
set the camera and set the draw time. Now let's check from the arrow element. It works. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I request all of you viewers, subscribers to actually practice in VideoScribe to master this concept. In the next video, we will discuss about the text properties window, image properties window and changing the drawing hand. Until then, signing off. Have a good day. See you on the next video.